So first I'm gonna say I was injured, obviously, but I did feel like I could still do a video now, so I'm gonna do it. Um, and this is about what are my unique gifts and energy? How can I be a beneficial presence now? And this is about being to being, not to doing. And then, um, and then I'm gonna be reading um, some of my downloads, uh, which is including but not limited to Merkava Kabbalah, which is from the spiritual realm. Um, things that I learned about. Um, that I learned about on the internet or from teachers. Anyway, so I'll start with this. I try to think only good thoughts and I am nothing but a divine messenger at best. I don't, this is about the I, right? I don't care about pearls, gems, material riches. I believe everyone's innately holy and can heal. I think everything happens for the good no matter what. I'm always growing every moment. I don't need any one specific person. I am as careful as I can be with my words. I'm willing to forgive and give benefit of the doubt. I do genuinely regret my mistakes and wrongdoings. I sincerely try to support anyone who comes to me and I try to inspire the hope and faith and unity of others. I'm willing to see my reflection in everyone. I radically accept all versions of personal guidance system. I believe in a higher purpose for all experience and I share the wisdom freely I gained from suffering. I have integrity when I can, pragmatism, accountability. I don't care about race, academia, gender, age when it comes to holiness, value of others. I aim to heal all aspects of myself. I try to be as present as possible every moment. I have the courage to be vulnerable and not take things personally or try to have a mask. I don't think the past has to be more than a dream. I have a science education that led me to mysticism. I, have, I believe karmic soulmates are like a helpful bacterium conjugating with another, giving me puzzle piece programs and we can release each other with peace and gratitude. I think there are some downloads I got, which is that soulmates give prog programs to a whole soul, like bacteria who do not need another to replicate, but accept the data and activation from another. Seek out not the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength, but what is commanded thee, think, about, think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. That's from Sirach. The seraphim burning angels, twinkling lights that ascend and descend on strings are the closest to God. And mighty men, man of war, judge, prophet, elder, diviner, captain of fifty, man of rank, counselor, cunning, charmer, skillful enchanter. Babe is the master, woman rule, secret parts lay bare, Rottenness, baldness, killing the, killing meat, mighty, jewelry taken. Those who wrought evil on themselves, the righteous will have all well. They'll eat the fruits of their doing. And oppressing each other, princes will be children. Child insolent to the aged, base against the honorable. And her gates shall lament and mourn and utterly bereft. She shall sit upon the ground. Isaiah 3, I guess that's uh, where I learned all this from. Yeshaya 3, I didn't realize right away. That's why I said Merkava Kabbalah, but that's from Yeshaya. There's seven heavens. Vilan, Rakia, Shechakim, Zevul, Maon, Machon, and Aravos. And Shmayim is sky water. And I have here, there's a, also known as Arafel, closest to the earth, a boat of Adam and Chava ruled by Gavriel.
That's the first one. The second one is controlled by Zachariel and Raphael. Moshe met Nuriel here. 50 myriads of angels fashioned out of water and fire. Planets fastened and fallen angels imprisoned. Number three is under Anahel, house, home of Gan Eden and tree of life where man, holy food of angels is produced. An interpretation also says hell is here on the north side. Number four is ruled by Michael, contains heavily Jerusalem temple and altar. Number five is under Samuel, where Shim, looks like Shim, comparable to Eralism, aka valiant or courageous ones. Or the Shim, the Shim. I can't read what I even wrote. I think it says Shim. I think it says Shim. Um, under either. A Z A Z E L, A Z A Z E L, Azazel or Zephania, or Sandalphone or Metatron, because derived from Malchus. I mean, no disrespect with saying these names, I'm just reading it now. Um, the third highest rank of divine angels below God are made of fire and snow, the beautiful souls of just men who praise and extol glory of God, the angels closest to mortals, and sing and song uttering choirs who sing Tresagian, and if not, Trisagian. Trisagian? So I guess triples, like three times. Anyway, if not at the right time, then consumed by fire. Twelve orders. Shalashim, which is captains. Parashim, which is horsemen. Giborim, which is warriors, champions. Um, Zevaim, which is hosts. Gedudim, which is troops and raiders. Memunim, which is deputies. Sarim, which is princes, chiefs. Chayalim is soldiers. Mesharatim is servants, ministers. Malachim is messengers and kings. Degalim is divisions, the uh, standards, and Sabalim, bearers of burden, transporters are. Number six world is under Sachiel, and number seventh world, the seventh heaven, right? We said the sixth heaven, seven heavens, and seventh heaven. Under Castiel is holiest because it houses the throne of God attended by seven arch archangels and serves as the realm God dwells, and underneath the throne lies above, abode of all unborn human souls, the home of the Keruvim the seraphim and the chayot.